All right, thank you for your invitation. Uh, today, I'd like to talk about uh, microcirculation dysfunction and aging, and uh, we'll be particularly focused on the uh, parasites. So this cartoon showing the global life expectancy map. As we can see that uh, the Canada, USA, and the Australia and the European is, has uh, significant uh, a uh, high uh, life expectancy. Uh, more interestingly, the highest uh, you know the life impact is uh, in Hong Kong and Japan and Singapore. So uh, it's possible maybe the seafood, uh, but the most likely is advanced in technology in medical education and uh, and uh, medical device and also the health insurance plan. So. So interesting, like in the 18th century, you know, the life expectancy is roughly uh, less than 40 years old, you know. So I think that not because the, the, the you know, the economy the increase, uh, the medical the knowledge increase also has less war, you know, uh, those kind of stuff. So. so how long we can lie. So this is based on the birth certification. So this person we called Jeanette Louis Kelman is the is the longest you know the person in a world so far. <clears throat> we don't know why he lived so long. You know, in the one years old, one hundred years old, the, the Jane also ride the bike, and uh, <clears throat> when he one hundred uh, years old, still smoking until. Uh, 117, you know, uh, stop smoking. <clears throat> but the definitely like the genetic, you know, the uh, effect also is contributing the, this family, uh, the, the longevity, because she's the sister, youngest, youngest sister is alive roughly 30, uh, 95 years old. So while we're aging, so basically have two theories, you know, uh, one called the program theory, and I call the damage and error theory. So <clears throat> the program theory, including program longevity, endocrine theory, and the immunologic theory. So other theory, including the wear and tear and the rate of the living, cross-linking and the free radical and the DNA damage. <clears throat> so, but however, now the theory can fully explain why we're aging. This card is showing the microcirculation in the function, like the oxygen is changing. The microcirculation remove like uh, the you know CO2 and uh, <clears throat> the toxicity and deliver the oxygen and the nutrition to the our in the body, maintains our the organ and the tissue in the normal function. <clears throat> so the microcirculation theory of the aging basically. Like, <clears throat> Microcirculation impairment or dysfunction over time will be leading to the accumulation of the toxicity products of the CO2 and the loss of the nutrition supplement and the oxygen in our car responding tissue <clears throat> or organ, which will eventually affect the normal tissue and the organ, you know, the function leading to the aging. So what's the evidence, you know? <clears throat> why the microcirculation dysfunction contribution to the aging? What's the evidence? So, one of the evidence called the aging related to the temporary loss. So, this is the <clears throat> cartoon showing that the cortex of the rat, you know, the blood, you know, the pattern in the yang and the aging, you know, the brain. <clears throat> As we can see, that the significant loss of the <clears throat> blood vessel, particularly in the temporary with increase of the aging. <clears throat> this cartoon showing the, uh, the human brain, uh, the, uh, the cortex, uh, after they use the CD31 stain, indicating that the, those are kind, kind of the capillary. As we can see that uh, not just the number of the capillary loss, also, also the wall of getting thick. The, I mean, the wall of the capillary getting thick. 
So this paper published uh, uh, science advance in 2017, uh, 2021. Here it compared the, <coughs> the human and the mouse tissue from different organs like kidney, muscle, and, and the spleen. Uh, they did some of the immunostain and uh, they do find like uh, the vessel condensity is significantly reduced with increase the age. <clears throat> so secondly, the evidence is that uh, blood flow is uh, reduced when we when we get in the old. So this is the functional MRI showing that the oxygen distribution, uh, oxygen distribution. So indicating that the uh, cerebral blood flow is uh, reduced with increase the aging. You know, when we get in like uh, over 75 or 80, uh, the, the cerebral blood flow is significantly reduced. Yeah. So for example, the green map, you know, the CDF, you know, is also in the significantly reduced. Yeah. The ATT, you know, the artery channel at the time also significantly increased because of the the wall of the artery or the, uh, of the capillary is significantly thick. You know. This is the city. It's uh, in the southern Italy. You know, called so. The, it's called the Salento. Uh, the average lifespan in this city is roughly 95, 92 years for the woman and eighty five, you know, for men. <clears throat> In 2016, Dr. Salvatore uh, they, and the team uh, did some the study. They found that uh, the blood flow in organ and uh, in, the, in the muscle is, you know, very efficient as it, uh, similar to, you know, the 30, uh, 30 years old, uh, 30, 30 years younger, you know, the person. Indicating that the, the, the microcirculation is significant, you know, the, the increase. <clears throat> They also found not this group, other group also found that uh, you know one of the, the longevity gene called the BPIFD4 is in the blood flow or in the serum is significantly increasing. This gene is improved the microcirculation uh, uh, function, and so it's this is why the, the life life spans increase. So this is the microcirculation function is linked to the all the you know aging theory. For example, free radical, stem cell theory, and uh, endocrine theory, and the mitochondria theory. You know, so as long as we have the, don't have the poor blood, you know, supply, all like uh, the will be increased. For example, will be increased the free radical, the stem cell niche also will be dysfunction, thus leading to the stem cell uh, proliferation and the dis dysfunction uh, impairment. So. <clears throat> This cartoon showing that uh, except to the, the endothelial cell, and they are also cell called the uh, parasite. <clears throat> they recently found that uh, uh, because the antibody has been, you know, developing, so the, we can use the end specific antibody and gas to the parasite, use immunostaining to de define the parasite. This is the EM showing the Parasite is attached uh, the the capillary. Recently found that the parasite also contains on the alpha small muscle, you know, the protein. So th those kind of the parasite have some the contraction function. So can kind of control the blood flow. <clears throat> so this is the evidence, X X wave evidence, evidence. So this is the parasite. <clears throat> By the arrow, so the this the blood cell they are, they can pass through the capillary. So when pressure the contraction, so the you know red cell or blood cell cannot pass through the capillary. <clears throat> so those kind of the pressure are also uh, regulated by the some the uh, hormone like a glutamate, uh, narrow nadrin. So when we're getting older, so parasite come, you know, consistent, you know, contract. So leading to the, leading to the reduced uh, microcirculation. This is based on the immunostain, uh, use the power four. This is the specific antibody for the parasite. 
So not just the increase the contraction of person when we're getting older, the number of the person also significantly reduced. So they are com compared to young and aging. This is called cartoon showing that the different age, like compared to 15, 16, 17, 18, and 200 years old, you know, the number of the person is significantly reduced. So. So the one of the study they are using the chain, uh, knockdown, you know, the of the price side. They have found that uh, the the compared the young and the older aged mouse, so that uh, the pulsation and also the microcirculation of blood. So when we get in this joke, so the parasite will be contraction leading to the dysfunction. So this is the stroke, uh, the parasite. Yeah, okay, so the, if we increase the oxygen, so we will be, you know, reduce the thermos lungs, you know, uh, increase the thermos lungs and also the reduce the senescent cells, you know, this cotton chain. Also, yeah, this is the, this is the talking about the BPIFB4, so that's the study I'm saying. Anyway, so this is how to increase uh, increase the microcirculation. This is the cartoon chain, the, the one of the device. This is the normal microcirculation. So if we have some device on, you know, the microcirculation is significantly increased. So we don't know whether we use those kind of machine or will be increased microcirculation and extension lifespan. We don't know yet. Thank you. <clears throat>